In order to start making a minion, you will need the following materials. Elmer's glue, or a similar glue, tape. If you are making a lifelike minion, it is necessary to have buttons and thread, a sharpie and pencil, a good pair of scissors, cling wrap, denim, or if you don't have denim, you can use blue paper, and yellow, green or blue, black, and white paper as well. Oh, and if you want their hair to look real, you might want pipe cleaners, but black paper will do if not. The first step is to take your pencil, choose the minion style you would like. There are many options of body type. I'm going to do this simple elongated minion, which is simply like an oval with a more flat top and bottom. Once you make this shape, you need to cut it out. If you have markings from the pencil on your paper, you can either erase them or flip the page over and use the back side. The next step is making an eyeball. This is when you'll use your one piece of paper. I have already traced and cut out a circle to save a little bit of time. You will then take your green, blue, brown, whichever color you prefer to use for the color of your eye. Trace the circle. For this, the thread bottom works very well. Next, if you'd like, you can take your pencil and just kind of make some scribbles to make it look like an eyeball. This is not a necessary step, and usually you can't see it very well, but I like to add it. Then you take your glue, glue the back of your color eyeball, and place it on the white circle. If you want, you can put it in the middle, you can make it looking up, that's up to you. Just make sure it's not too close to the edge because you will make a glasses that will go around and usually it touches the edge of your white. That is what the first step may look like. Next, you will take your black paper, laying the white circle on the black. You will make an estimated circle around that. If you want, you can find a similar size circle and trace it so that your circle is perfect. But that's some minor. Once again, you'll need to cut out your circle. Now, you are going to want to trace your circle tighter so that, you know, about how big it is. This is probably the hardest part. You'll need to cut close to that line, but not all the way. Maybe in a little area in between. The line you just traced and where you're cutting. Now that you have your glass ring and your eyeball, you will take a small piece of your cling wrap. And wrap the eyeball in it. This is also an optional step, but it really makes the eyeball look more realistic. If your eyeball is small, you're going to want to trim your cling wrap because otherwise It'll be too bunched in the back and it'll be really hard to tape. This gives it the effect of a glasses um, as the glass part of the goggle. Now I'm just using tape to hold down the back. Then 
You're going to take your black glass eyeball and put it around. I find this step easier to use tape than glue, but either one should work fine. Now you have your eyeball with the goggle. Next you'll need to just cut a small piece of black paper for each side of the eyeglass for the strap. You'll just want to tape it on. I cut mine bigger so I can wrap around the sides and it'll stay more secure. And you take your glue. Flip it over and place it where you want your glasses to be. And I suggest flipping it over, bending in the side, and taping them down. Again, this just adds extra security. And that's the end of your second step. Next, you need to decide what type of mouth you want. You can either make a mouth using white paper, drawing the typical mouth shape, possibly adding some teeth and putting that on, or you can simply draw a smile as some of them show no teeth. The next step is going to be harder. You need to make pants. This is when your jeans material will come in handy. And if you don't have jeans, again, you can use regular blue construction paper. It just doesn't look as authentic. The best way to do this is set your minion on top, estimate about where you want the pants to start. If this goggle is about here and this smile is about here, you're going to want to start about here, just marking on both sides. And then, it's easiest to trace the back so that you know exactly where to cut. Since it is on the back, if you mark it, then it's okay. Next, you have to figure out the size and the shape of your legs. The minion's legs are not very large, and they often are short and close together. Something similar to that. You will want to add extra fabric on the bottom so that you have something to attach your shoes to. Once again, you'll want to cut this out. Once you're done cutting out the back, you'll want to just put it on and make sure it looks good. Make sure that the size and the shape is what you want and that it's not too close to the mouth. Um, this is a little higher up than I had wanted, so I'm just going to trim it. The minions wear bibs, so their sides are lower than their top. Something like so again. Once you have trimmed them, making sure it's more of what you want, you will take 
your scraps from earlier and cut two strips to use for the straps of the yoga. Next, you'll take your two buttons and sew the strap onto the bib. If you don't know how to sew, you can hot glue it. You just won't have the look of the thread. Nine minutes. Once you have fastened the button, either with sewing or with hot glue, you'll want to take your Elmer's glue again. Put plenty on the back of it. Elmer's is probably the best glue to use for this step because fabric glue only adheres fabric to fabric. Hot glue sometimes peels the fabric away. Try and position it right where you traced it. Pull your straps to the side so that they overlap. And wipe off any extra glue you accidentally get on the minion. You can either wrap these around and tape them, which is what I'm going to do, again, just for the extra security. Or you can just chop them off and hope that your glue will hold them fine at the edge. Next, you're going to need his appendages. So, I'm just going to make arms that go up. Make sure you're placing them right underneath his straps on both sides. You can make up arms, down arms. They can be bent arms. really doesn't matter as long as you remember to put arms. Just a simple piece of tape is really all you need. His arms are not complete without gloves. So, you simply take your pencil. Minions only have three fingers. So you have the bottom of your gloves and three set fingers. Once again, if you have pencil marks, you can flip it over or you can erase them. You can either trace your first glove if you want them to be identical, or you can just freehand another cut. Take your glue. Fasten it up, making sure none of the yellow arm sticks out. And if it does, you can just trim it. Although it's not necessary, I suggest turning it over and adding a small piece of tape behind both gloves so that they don't fall off from the glue. And then your arms are done.